Hey, what's up my boys? This is Natural Soap Man with another video here on another Tuesday. And guys, in this video, I'm actually going to be reviewing a soap called The Rustic Country by a company known as the Dirty Knee Soap Company. Now, if you remember last year, I actually reviewed their soap called The Minnesota Wood, which to this day is still one of my absolute favorite soaps. So you know I have to come back to them. So with that being said, let's check out The Rustic Country and see how it does. you have it my friends this is the box as with all my videos I like to start off with the packaging show you guys what you're gonna get when you get it and as you see it has this nice tight compact cardboard box look very aesthetically pleasing it feels good in the hand um, has a little description in the front the font everything just kind of blends in to make this like very nice natural style type of deal and greens in the back very nice, very aesthetically, very pleasing looking box. Well done, uh, nice. I like the colors, but yeah. But uh, that's what the box looks like. So let's move on to the next part where we actually look at the soap itself. Eh. And there you have it guys. This is what the Rustic Country looks like. Has this pale greenish color, very opaque. Uh, a little bit on the smaller side. I think this is uh, not really a complaint, but really something I noticed last time. Comes in at 4.2. I like it a little bit bigger, but it's not terrible. It's not drastically too small, but it is what it is. And you know, it's not bad, it's not terrible, but it's something I just noticed. And I'm gonna go ahead and post the ingredients on the screen. Uh, but there's one particular ingredient I do wanna point out real quick, because I think it's fascinating and interesting. They actually use this ingredient in all their soaps, actually. And that's the beeswax. And beeswax is a really interesting ingredient, something, you know, kind of surprising. You don't see it more often in soaps. If you're not familiar, if you're not aware, uh, beeswax actually acts as like a natural humectant, which that just means it just attracts water out of the air. It also acts like a natural moisturizer, so it really helps keep your skin hydrated. It also acts as a natural exfoliator, which helps slosh off the dead skin cells off your body. So man, like it has a lot of benefits and pros to help keep your skin smooth and nice and healthy looking, things like that. So just think of something interesting that, um, you know, you don't see that uh, as much in other soaps as you would, but here they actually make all their soaps with it. I think that's something something worth pointing out to uh, that I think is really interesting. And now with that being said though, guys, uh, now that we saw what the soap looks like, let's go ahead and move on to the next part of the video where we're gonna just talk about the sniff and uh, the sniff. We're gonna talk about how it smells. Uh, do that sniff test, baby. <laughs> all right, guys, now that we talked about the box, we saw what the soap looks like, let's go ahead and do the sniff test or actually what the bad boy smells like. Now, I've been looking forward to uh, checking this one out because it's the dirty, the, the uh, Minnesota wood is still to this day one of my favorite smelling soaps, period. I absolutely love the way that one smells. So I was a little nervous too, because I was like, oh man, what well, this one smells like booty. But uh, turns out though, uh, this one I actually haven't used them in. Uh, I was actually, um, really impressed and, and uh, actually really, really like this one, enjoyed it. Um, this one's fascinating too, because this one actually features citronella as one of its core scents, right? It has like a, so it has like a very citrusy, very fresh smell thing going on there. And uh, it is, it's super interesting. It's like almost lemon-like, um, combined with like a uh, fresh, clean smell. It's uh, it is it's totally different, but it's different, but it does its own thing really, really well. And I thought that was so cool. The citronella thing caught me off guard, and uh, how fascinating that is, you know, because uh, here you have a soap that not only smells good, right, but it has like some practicality behind it as well. Because as if you don't know, citronella is like a natural bug repellent, right? Like it uh, helps ward off uh, mosquitoes and things like that. It don't completely get them away i get but uh it would it helps prevent them from coming at you sideways and slap them you know <laughs> but uh that, that's super cool you know somebody goes outside if you're to my hikers and to my adventurers out there who love the outdoors like this is super cool you know it's all natural so you can use that traveling things like that and not worry about harming the environment and things like that and that's super cool and that's fascinating to me um, but have something that's fresh and clean smelling and, you know, it just has a little bit of a little citrusy thing going on. I love citrusy stuff. So 
That's such a far uh, effing awesome. <laughs> effing awesome uh, smell, man. It's really cool. I don't know if I like it more than Minnesota wood, but man, it, it like it just does its own thing well. Dirty and Easy did it again with the awesome smells, man. Fantastic. I just love their soaps, man. Y'all just know how to make a good smelling bar soap for men. So, uh, but that's thing that uh, with that being said, though, guys, let's go ahead and move on to the lather test. See how it lathers, and then we'll bring it back. So, all right. Have it, guys that's the lather test as you can tell it's a solid lather and then uh guys so let's uh let's start wrapping up the video start wrapping up the review kind of go over everything a little bit as you can tell the box nice tight compact very aesthetically pleasing looking um the soap itself kind of has like a very pale greenish color very pretty you know whatever uh where it gets more exciting though is the ingredients where it features in my opinion a really cool ingredient is the beeswax um which uh, again, really wonderful for your skin. It has a lot of awesome skin benefits for you. Help make your skin smooth and nice and acts as a natural exfoliator and nice natural moisturizer and hydrator for your skin. Um, now in terms of for me using it, I would say there is no dryness. There was no skin irritation, no nothing like that. It left my skin very smooth, um, just like the Minnesota would like perform very well. You know, I uh, really enjoyed the way, like the, the, the citrusy type of smell uh, kind of woke me up a little bit. I really enjoyed that. Um, but performance wise, uh, again, those nice oils and the beeswax and um, really just just did well. Again, you know, I, again, this is, you know, batting a thousand right here with the Dernie Soap Company. Some, just some good, good soaps, man. They just, they just make some good soaps. There's no doubt about it. In terms of that scent though, I just think it's so fascinating that they feature citronella. That is not a scent I've ever came across in any soap. And I, I, I just find that so interesting, man, because it's like, here we have a soap that doesn't just get you clean, right? Which is obviously most important, <laughs> but to have some practicality beyond you smelling nice is super, fascinating and interesting but you know we'll kind of wrap it up here uh if you're interested in the soap so it comes like a seven dollars but just like any other company man they have like this subscription service thing going on it it's not like this weird uh or uh strange like club or group name you know it's not the dirty mirrors <laughs> or anything like that it's just straight up auto ship you know you, you tell them what you want they ship it to you automatically you save 15 percent on that order so and that's kind of standard now. I think most soap companies or companies like that do something along those lines. It's almost standard at this point, honestly. Haven't tried Dirty Knees, but I wholeheartedly think you should just give them a try, man. They got some good soaps. <laughs> the Minnesota Wood in this one is just fantastic. I don't know if I like the rustic country as much as the Minnesota Wood. Uh, I think that just might be preference. Because I know some people that much prefer the rustic country. Just that nice, clean, lemon-like, citrus smell. Uh, more, more on the lemon side than the orange in terms of citrus if you needed something more to help you with that. But just, fin just fantastic, dude. They just dirty knees. I get so pumped out talking about this company. Man, they're crushing it, dude. They're straight crushing it. I love this company. Um, but with that being said, though, man... Um, they do have some other companies. Oh, I did want to throw points out too, guys, because uh, um, 
some of you guys, I kind of see your comments and things like that. I just want to throw this out here, especially during this time during the winter. Don't just rely on natural soaps to keep your skin hydrated and moisturized. Look investing in like some type of all natural body lotion. Just want to point that out there. It's something. Um, your soaps can only go so far, but to complement it with an all natural body lotion. And I, I mean, I, I don't care what company you prefer. But just look into getting that because I see some guys kind of, I, I, I fear that some of you are just like, I got the soap and good to go. Mm. Maybe, and you might be good enough depending on your skin type, but um, I know I know body lotion man can really, really take it to the next level. And uh, uh, you should probably look investing that. Now, whatever company, I'm not telling you what company to go to. I can give you a list of some that I, I use um, if you're interested in that, but just look into that, you know, help your skin out more, especially in your forearms or your, or your face or, you know, more exposed there. So just something to keep in mind, just something to think about. Uh, but with that being said, though, guys, that concludes this review, this video. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you got something out of it. If you have any court, more questions, please ask in the uh, comments below. As always, this is Natural Soap Man, and uh, that concludes this video. But, uh, oh, and also, be sure to follow me on Instagram. I'm always posting stuff there, too, guys. So, uh, But until next Tuesday, guys, it's been my pleasure to serve you as always. Till then, take care and stay natural, my friends. Bye-bye. Oh, 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 oh,